So hi everyone, in this series, I'm going to run you through some comfort foods. Today, I'm going to be making spicy tuna sandwich, not the usual run-of-the-mill tuna with mayo. So stick with me and I'll show you why it's different. I've emptied the contents of one can of chili tuna, but I left some of the oil in because I personally like having some of the oil in because there's a lot of flavour in them. So one clove of garlic, fastest way, smash it. Just remove the top. And what I'll be doing is I'll be mincing the garlic so it's finely chopped. That's the meaning of mincing. Very, very, very finely chopped. That's it. Just add everything into the bowl. So next up, I'm going to finely chop some onions. If you do not have red onions, fine, go ahead, use white onions. I'm just dicing them up. Dice red onion, add it all in. Squeeze some lime in. Half a lime would do. So the last thing I want to add to this mixture of tuna would be Chinese parsley or coriander. So what I want to do is just I want to roll it into a bunch that looks something like this. Just chop it finely. So what coriander is really good for is that uh, it has very high antibacterial properties that prevents spoilage of food. I'm just going to mix everything up with my spoon and taste for seasoning. To give it a taste. Oh, it's a kick. I like to add some Nomu black pepper. And that's it. We're ready to assemble our sandwich. So, today I'm using ciabatta loaf. So I'm going to be adding two tablespoons of tuna. Get it even. Two slices of cheddar cheese. This goes into my oven. So, while I'm making my tuna mix, my oven is actually preheating at 180 degrees Celsius. So, in it goes. In my oven, it will take about 7 minutes. I'm not too sure about yours, so to be safe, check it from 4 to 5 minutes onwards. My sandwich is almost done. Alright, so everyone at home, what you want to be seeing right now is that this bread is nice and brown, the cheese is nice and gooey. As that cools slightly, I'm going to be preparing the toppings. I'm going to be adding my lettuce and my tomatoes. The top goes on top. So just a word of caution, this is really spicy. So for a less spicy version, you could mix half Iron Brand Chili Tuna with half tuna in brine or in water. So here you have it, spicy chili tuna sandwich. Go ahead and enjoy it.